We are living in interesting times where truths and propaganda are all mixed up and all you have to do is push a hashtag to sell your truth. Cause truth and propaganda are all mixed up, Lord. What about who's telling the truth? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the chaotic circus that is Kenyan politics. Something is rotten in the Republic of Kenya. A land where tear gas is an appetizer and finance bill 2024 is the main cause no one ordered. Tonight we dive into the heart of a revolution sparked by Gen Z and millennials. A youth quake shaking the very foundations of parliament and state house. This, my friends, is a story about how the future decided enough is enough. The sweet smell of resistance in the air. Look around you. These are not just any protesters. These are the digital warriors. These are the TikTok tacticians. Twitter or X tacticians. They hashtag their way into history with hashtag reject finance bill 2024. Hashtag occupy parliament. Hashtag Ruto must go. <laughs> But let's not forget every revolution has its martyrs. Rex, Masai, Evans, Kiratu, these are not just names. These are the faces of bravery, the voices of dissent silenced too soon. The regime's response, abductions in the dead of night, hoping fear will quench the flames of rebellion. Really? But we the youths are not easily cowed. The Human Rights Commission stands with us and calls for investigations in the abductions and killings. They demand the unconditional release of all abductees and urge us to remain undeterred. For it is our constitutional right to assemble, to demonstrate, and to petition. And we, the youth of Kenya, will not let these rights be trampled. And now, in a desperate bid to silence us, they threaten to shut down the internet. Oh, wow. <laughs> but let me tell you, this will not deter us. It only shows the power of our movement and the fear in their hearts and souls. We find ways to communicate, to organize, and to fight back. Because this revolution is not just online. It is in our streets, in our homes, and in our hearts. When I assumed office 20 months ago, our country was facing tremendous economic challenges. Consequently, having reflected, 
On the continuing conversation around the content of the Finance Bill 2024, and listening keenly to the people of Kenya who have said loudly that they want nothing to do with this Finance Bill 2024, I concede, and therefore I will not sign the 2024 Finance Bill, and it shall subsequently be withdrawn, and I have agreed with these members that that becomes our collective position. We did it. Our voices have been heard, our power recognized. But this is just the beginning. The finance bill may be dead, but our fight for a better Kenya continues. We will march, we will protest, we will occupy until justice is not just a word, but reality. <laughs> To my fellow Kenyans, young and old, this is our moment. We are the generation of change, the architects of new Kenya. <laughs> Let's keep fighting, keep dreaming, until our country reflects the ideals we hold dear. A Luther continua, the struggle continues. Thank you for joining me tonight. Remember the power lies with us, the people. Let's take it back. One protest, one vote, one act of courage at a time. Good night and may justice be our shield and defender. <laughs>